Today, many across Colorado and the TV news industry are remembering the life of Ward Lucas. The longtime Nine News journalist died Sunday at the age of 75. And many of you are sharing just wonderful comments on social media. Yeah, Chris uh, commented here. You can see what she had to say about his voice. It was interesting on my social media. I posted about Ward uh, both on Instagram and on Twitter or X or whatever they call it now. And I was surprised there were so many people who loved Ward in so many varieties of ways for his investigative reporting, his journalism or whatever. But I got so many comments about his voice. He did have just a, a great, great voice. Great voice. And but it wasn't remember forced. It. Yeah. It was, if you talk to him, that was his voice. People you know? remember that voice. Ward won more than 70 awards for his work, and that includes 11 Emmys. And he was inducted into the Heartland uh, uh, Emmys Silver Circle back in 2008. Yeah, those awards really never mattered to him. He always cared. No. He was always out there fighting to get the next story and to help somebody out. The news of his passing had us running to the Nine News archives to find some of his best work. This afternoon, we're looking at a story Ward named, How Do You Know When It's Time? No one ever forgets that very first moment. They say there's really no such thing as love at first sight. Well, whoever said that wasn't there when you and I first met. Did you choose me, or was that the other way around? Who could know? It just happened. We're supposed to be best friends, you and I, and it's true. We don't argue or fuss or hold grudges. We just fool around and tussle and once in a while teach each other some things about this weird trip called life. But the time goes so fast. It's spring, and all of a sudden, it's winter. It was just last week I noticed for the first time those gray hairs. They actually make you look dignified, a little more sophisticated. I didn't even notice it until you did something that made me laugh and then brushed past me. I thought I was mistaken at first, and then I was, well, just startled. We all get them, old girl. The gray seems to mark our passage through time. We try hard not to look, and then at some point, we have to. We humans have a funny idea of time. We contort and twist and try to trick ourselves into believing that time isn't really passing for us. And then it does. It's not just the gray, it's the aches and mornings are stiff. But if we humans are so smart, how do we know when it's time to finally say goodbye? There's no good answer that really works for that, except to say that life is a puzzle, just a puzzle. Certainly poignant and ironic with the passing of Ward Lucas, but also very symbolic when you, when you decide to go look for Ward, stories that were written that well or felt that personal, you had many to choose from. Yeah, the story about his dad with Alzheimer's was so beautiful, and I think so many people could relate to it more than anything and what and how personal it was for him to share those stories. He really, and, and we we have to mention, he had a great sense of humor, too. Yeah, he didn't, he he didn't often let it such flash. <laughs> gift, yeah. His, I mean, that's what he leaves all of us, these stories. So viewers got to know him so well, but for Kim and I, uh, I was doing sports here in the late 80s and early 90s, and Ward would, would sit here and you'd sit there and Kathy would be over there and I'd be over in this <laughs> chair. And it was so funny because he didn't really care much for sports. Yeah. And he'd, you know, you'd tell him something and he'd give you the look like, that's yeah. fine. And then when the light would go on, he would ask you a question or set something up for you like he'd been paying attention all along. And he just had that, he, he almost had a subtext gear that he could always keep. Yeah. And uh, it was marvelous. Yeah, I, I, that, those were good days. Those are good days, and I, I was 
I was not ready to be in the position necessarily, but boy, did he hold my hand and carry me through yeah. it. And I just think Kathy and, and you, we all had such a good time. Well, he Between had... you and, and Ward, you both had quite the dry wit <laughs> that kept us going. He had the, the, the most important gift, I think, to sit in this chair, is that is uh, that he could connect through the camera with viewers. And uh, seeing that on social media the, the last day or so since we uh, got the news and shared the news, it's been something to see how viewers felt about Ward Lucas. And I know it touches his family to know that, and uh, it touches us as well. Yeah, it's one thing to read. It's another thing to connect.